Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm gonna to talk about three proven tips for instantly boosting your immune system today. And uh, there's gonna be in links underneath in the description area for more additional details for this topic, but let's get started. The first I said in the past that I hate being sick, all right? I mean, who doesn't? It's just draining you mentally, physically, emotionally. You can't do anything or even enjoy doing nothing like vacation time because you're in pain and you're suffering and you're sick. Sadly, growing up, I always seemed to be sick, right? And for example, I got a really bad bronchitis when I was young and that turned into asthma. And it was bad asthma because in the middle of the night, I once woke up just gasping for air and I, I couldn't breathe. You know, I felt like I was underwater and, and the more I tried to breathe, the worse it got. My throat closed off and it was just scary. Eventually I got back and, 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 and you know, I could breathe again and I, I was afraid to even go to sleep for the next couple of nights. Um, I went to the doctor at the emergency room that night and they gave me asthma medication and like it was a miracle. I was like fixed. It was like my savior. And I think that's probably one reason I got into medicine and pharmacology and endocrinology, which is study of hormones and all that. Um, because I found it miraculously how a drug can save me. Um, then in my twenties, I was sick a lot or more than I should have been. And I basically had like this perpetual cold that never seemed to go away. It was on or off, on or off. And then I had my yearly sinus infections. You know, it was bad where I felt like I had like 20 cavities in my mouth because everything was in my face was hurting. Mind you, this entire time I was, you know, healthy guy. I was eating healthy. I was exercising, you know, never did drugs or alcohol or anything bad like that. It was basically just school, work, and the gym. Really boring, but I was just very driven. And basically, you know, I'd have school during the day and then at nights and weekends I'd work and running my own business. And that was the problem, basically. I was pushing myself all the time. I was burning the candle on both ends, so to speak, especially at the gym. This is important for anyone who works out. You know, no matter how I felt, no matter how tired I was, you know, I was so driven that, you know, if it was like leg day at the gym or heavy day at the gym, I had to push myself, I would do it. I'd go, I'd give myself, the, I'd give the hardest workout, I'd never back down. And I was just determined to get stronger and grow every single workout. Well, basically I'd leave the gym feeling like junk, as if I just got done wrestling with King Kong or something. I was just drained as can be. You know, my, my hands and my legs were just shaky because my adrenaline, my adrenal glands were fried and my stress and cortisol levels were through the roof because I did a crazy work on. I thought, well, that's what you need. But I was completely wrong. Of course, that then ruined my sleep and the lack of sleep made things 10 times worse. To make a long story short, the end result was I was always just tired. Okay. I felt burned out. I was irritable. I had horrible sleep. And I had the opposite results at the gym. Basically, I was getting smaller and weaker and sometimes just fatter because of all the cortisol and hormonal levels and, and problems. Not to mention, my sex drive was horrible because of my testosterone was super low because of all the physical stress. And if I was dieting to get lean, right, to get really ripped, six-pack abs and all that, things were 10 times worse. Obviously, this frustrated me even more. Maybe some of this you can connect with. You know, of course, down deep, I knew something, I needed to do something better. I knew something needed to change and balance. And then one day when I was sick, I had nothing to do. I was reading my, my, um, my journal, right? And to see like, you know, if I could get some clues and, and so forth and see patterns as to why I was getting sick. And then I realized it. I discovered basically things that were causing my, my, my immune system to go down and get, you know, break apart. And I just knew I couldn't keep going like this. So I changed everything. I started doing a lot of experimenting, a lot of testing, seeing what different things would boost my immune system and so forth. I finally found out what really works really well for me. Right. And I, and then I, once I found out, I started to apply it to other people. Then I took the best tactics that seem to work for almost everyone, right? The majority of the time. And they were also easy to implement that gave fast results to boost your immune system almost instantly. And then I would then just give the same protocol to my friends and my patients and clients and so forth. And to make a long story show, short, for the past couple decades, for 20 years now, I rarely ever get sick. And when I do, it's because I didn't follow my own advice. 
Now, especially this past decade, I fine tuned things even more. All right. And I, honest to God, I can't remember the last time I ever got sick. I ever got the flu. I never get the flu shot. I rarely get cold. I never get my sinus infections anymore. This is the same body, same person. I'm older, 20, 25 years older. All right. And if I start to kind of come down with something, I know exactly what to do instantly. And within two or three days, I'm fixed. I'm healed. Whatever I was coming down, the sore throat, the sniffles or whatever, it's cured. It's gone. I no longer have any of these problems. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just share three simple solutions with you right now that you can implement, right? And at the same time, again, I've got link underneath here for additional tips and solutions that I've used that goes into, you know, further detail. But today I'm going to give you the three simplest, fastest ones that'll make the biggest bang for your buck improvement in your boost and boosting your immune system. And the end result is when you apply what you're going to learn today, all right, you're just going to be healthier all around. You're going to be more resilient. Not only will you have less sickness, you're just going to have more energy because you have an improved immune system. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the negatives, which are lowering your immune system, all right? We want to get rid of the expenses so then we can make more money, make more profits, right? So I use that money analogy. So then once you remove the negatives, we can add in the positives, which will then boost your immune system. So the two together is going to now be almost bulletproof. All right. Now, again, I put together an entire email video series about this. There's a link below and you can get all details about this. But let's get started with the first Three things you want to do to remove the first negatives you want to remove in your life. All right. The very first and probably most important thing is you want better sleep. Hands down, sleep fix is almost anything. So you must get better sleep, not necessarily more sleep, even though many of us probably do need more sleep, but better and deeper sleep is the key. This also means not taking sleeping drugs to help you sleep. This includes prescription ones, right? As well as over-the-counter drugs, and this also includes alcohol and marijuana. All of these impede deep REM sleep, REM sleep, which means your body isn't healing and repairing itself properly, physically and also mentally, all right? Again, I go much deeper into how to do all this in my email video series, how to get better sleep, some cool hacks and tricks that I've used, all right? But do your best, at the very least, go to bed earlier, all right? This makes a huge difference. Even an hour earlier makes a difference. And also try to turn off and dim all the lights. Gives you, um, a, so, so that the light keeps you awake, melatonin reasons and all these, I go deeper. Just give sleep a bigger priority. Next, you want to get more sun. Just like sleep, you need the sun. All organisms on the planet require sun. It has amazing healing powers. Yeah, most of us don't go out, right? We're stuck indoors and we're afraid we're going to get cancer from it. Total junk. In the morning, go outside. First thing in the morning, take a 10 to 20 minute walk. Breathe deeply. Get sun on your body and face. And don't wear sunglasses. You want sun in the light, right? Helps boost your immune system. It increases vitamin D, which most people are deficient in. All right. In fact, I suggest taking extra vitamin D and K. All right. And the right forms and dosage also very important. Again, I talk about this in my email video series that link below in the description area. So getting sun first thing in the morning also helps improve your sleep at night by improving melatonin production, the sleep hormone, which also boosts your immune system. So going in the sun is awesome. Now, additionally, the sun has many antimicrobial and antibacterial benefits. It's super powerful and healthy, just like the vitamin D. Again, here's the best part. The sun is free. Most of us don't utilize it. doesn't matter how cold it is. The sun is out. Utilize it. Finally, you want to reduce stress. All right. Stress is a major immune suppressor because of all the negative effects it has on your hormones. As stress hormones go up, such as cortisol goes up, there's a cascade of negative effects to all your other hormones. For example, lower testosterone, lower growth hormone, lower thyroid levels, and then there is higher increase in insulin levels, which you don't want, not to mention the other immunosuppressive chemical changes and whole body inflammation. We don't want this. Plus, there's negative changes in your sleep because of stress, which then lowers melatonin, which then lowers immune system. Again, you can see it's all bad, 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 bad. Lots of negative changes due to stress. Now, the problem is that stress shows up in many ways and forms, all right? And we can't always control stress. 
For me, it was, for example, too much exercise and also too much work caused me to not sleep enough. Plus, you know, over dieting, I was always very stressful in my body, right? Um, and for others, for example, it can cause uh, emotional stress. You know, money, relationships, and so forth can cause emotional stress. We all have it. We have different times in our lives. We have different more of this and less of this and more of that. And sometimes it's more of everything, right? Now, many people, it's also that the stress is the negative inner dialogue, right? The negative inner chatter that they have with themselves. Right, which is the worst overall, I think, because you have it all day long, right? You have this negative dialogue that you beat yourself up more than anyone else, and you shouldn't. This is something we can control. Again, I cover all this in my email video series. Again, you can get access below. However, today, think about situations or people in your life that's causing you unnecessary stress, chronic stress, that just keep doing it over and over again. Can you reduce it? Can you eliminate it? Can you see how you can reduce these stressors? If you can't eliminate it, just reduce it. It helps. For example, for me, it was easy. I stopped watching the news. It's always negative, right? And someone's like, you're not going to get information. Yeah, well, the news is also misinforming you. Again, nothing I can do about it. So what's the point of finding out all the negative things in life? Also, stop wasting your time worrying about the things you have no control over, such as the past, and obviously the future. Focus on now, focus on what you can do and you have control over. Everything else is just a waste of time, valuable uh, emotion and time and causing you more stress. So in summary, there's a lot of things you can do to boost your immune system and I cover most of the important ones in my email video series that again, I already mentioned below. There's a link below in the description area, okay? Get access to it, it's free, but the very least, Make sure you give sleep a bigger priority today. Take a walk every morning outside and get some sun and try to reduce some of the stressors in your life, even if it's just a little one. For me, it was the news and watching TV and so forth. There you have it. Reduce your stress, boost your immune system, and have a happy and healthy day. Thanks for watching.